All right. So where do you see it going, Steve? I mean, you're, you're on top of this whole biohacking thing. So where do you see AI and biotech and biohacking in the future? Where does it, where does it all go? Oh, well, it's a very good question because you know, I did a presentation for Singularity University last year and I do feel that there's going to be an integrated health performance dashboard. We're going to be able to put these data points. Everybody's going to have some type of measuring device, whether it's a ring, whether it's a, a wrist a watch like this or it's a device that sends through frequencies like the Apollo that's going to be able to put into a central dashboard. There's going to be an algorithm based on your age, your genetics that you've uploaded and it's going to red flag and orange flag and green flag the things that you need to look at and work on. Your, your doctor is always going to be part of the solution. But I do believe that people are going to start sort of managing and creating their own health futures through an integrated health performance dashboard. Probably a crypto health wallet that you'll be able to, on the blockchain, sanction certain people to look at and not look at. And I think it's going to start a lot younger because people are getting sicker far sooner and getting, you know, these sicknesses with the, with the kids and the teenagers and the elderly. It's just getting so chronic that, I mean, I think four, three out of four Americans has a chronic disease. So it's, it's, it's very problematic and we need to change the way healthcare is done from the sick care model, going to the doctor when you're sick and rather preventing sickness and disease to a preventative no. healthcare model.